That's some bitch as tough as woodpecker lips. The Southern Saturday Podcast. Oh, well, come on, son. You couldn't whoop a picture of me. It's like giving your ears a big glass of sweet tea. Come on, boy. Shit. Drink up and enjoy. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Southern Saturday Podcast. Got a special guest today, Brother Mal. Y'all have seen Brother Mal in all the cookout videos. What's up, man? How y'all doing? What's going on, my n- <laughs> that, that was a good one that was a good one how you been man oh i've been good man <laughs> you gotta what a, you gotta do one more time. what a great what a great start i said what's up my Hey man, that's, that's a way for white people to get away with it. That's, that's what I got this thing for. This yeah, is like, all it's, it's good It's kind of like a black people hall pass or something. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a hot start. That's a good one. I like it. I like oh, that. Oh man. So man, what's it like? What's it like being famous now? Uh, Everybody's got Malcolm t-shirts on and shit? No man. You know, the, the crazy thing is uh, you get a lot of messages People want to, you know, do all type of uh, (laughs) videos with you. And, you know, for some reason, they think I'm like the head producer now. You are. Uh, You know, so other than that, I I think the the good thing about it is reading the comments. My favorite part is the comments, too. (laughs) You really don't realize (laughs) how some people just don't see certain things in certain videos. I, my thing is that people don't realize video comedy videos are comedy videos. Exactly. They think it's, it's like they think everything is real. I put that last video we did, the last video we did, they were like, yeah, fucking right, man. Every Southern cookout I've ever been to, they say, ain't no put no raisins in it. Exactly. Which, to be honest, I've never I've never seen anybody put raisins yeah. in potatoes. See, I, I, I That's a black either. myth about yeah, white I, people. I, I think it is, too, because... I've never seen it either. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't eat it either. But either. you <laughs> insist that we do it. But now, the thing seen, is, it's like I've, you think about it, you would think <laughs> black people aren't doing it. So it's like the only thing. I mean, maybe some people from Taiwan or something might do it, but you know, I, I don't. I don't think black people or nothing like that would do something like that. I, oh, I know they won't. But I'm just saying that neither do white people. Is what I'm trying to say. I've seen white people put raisins in b- bread pudding. I've seen that. I've seen that firsthand. See, I don't really eat bread pudding either. I, but that that's not a white yeah. only dessert. Yeah, I, was, I, don't, I, I don't really eat bread pudding. I worked pudding at like Wenzel's and bl- old black ladies love yeah. some bread pudding. Yeah, I mean, you'll see it at church, like uh, after church, stuff like that. But I, I've really just never, I never really ate it. I never really liked it like that. But uh, I mean, <laughs> that's just one of those things, you know, <laughs> it's like white people not using <laughs> seasoning. I know you use seasoning. Yes, and but like, I, I and but, all the white people's food I've ate has they use seasoning. But I've but been to like, I've been to know. some I've been to some shit where nobody had nothing. See, this chicken's yeah. just white on the I mean, outside I, and the inside. Unfortunately, I have seen black people not use seasoning, but I'm not gonna, you know. No, I've yeah, never I, seen I, that. I have, I have, and uh, <laughs> I go right to the pantry and go get some damn seasoning to put it on my food. So. I don't think that that's a color thing. I think it's a southern thing. I th- and you know, I because I, 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 I feel like Southern food is 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 more tasteful than Northern food. I agree with that. I don't I don't know why I don't know why people from up north just don't know want to you know don't want to cook with seasoning or just have taste to their food. But <laughs> I think it's know. because we're so hot <laughs> down here. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like Northerners they don't like sweet tea. Yeah, like I don't you know which I can't drink sweet tea anymore, but yeah. I love it. Growing up, I love sweet tea, but it tastes like diabetes. Yeah, it's it's literally. <laughs> I can't drink it. Like I feel like I would pass out if I drink. It. We I went to uh, Nashville in that golf tournament, that Tracy Lawrence golf tournament, and uh, they had sweet tea up there to drink, and I had to fucking go half and half because, <laughs> dude, you it you could stick your straw in it, and it would just stand up. And see, that's the thing. Like even even when I go to Chick Fil A, I get half and half. Have have sweet tea, have lemonade. Like I can't just do sweet tea no more. Even, uh, but dude, like, it's Chick Fil A's lemonade. I would rather get water now than sweet tea. Yeah, I would too. And but you know. I've been doing uh, Milo Zero. See that that's great, delicious. 
I don't know how they do I it. I still can't drink a bunch. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's good. When I, I go to the store, I have to get at least two jugs. You know, I'll drink it. My son will drink it. Like, I know that sounds real black, but. <laughs> you didn't say Kool-Aid, man. See, I don't. To be honest, the last time I've drunk Kool-Aid was probably. When I was a kid. And I loved it. My yeah. grandma used to make pictures of Kool-Aid. Yeah, Huge I, I probably haven't had in like, I can honestly say like five, six years. I see. I don't feel like Kool-Aid's a black thing either. I think that's mm-hmm. a Southern thing. Because my grandma too. made Kool-Aid every day. Yeah, it's, it I think it's really a poor thing. Like, yeah. because and, a packet of Kool-Aid's <laughs> like 30 cents. Yeah, it was like 25, you know, 30 cents. And you can go up there and get whatever flavor you want. I got to put water in it, put the sugar in it. It doesn't even matter about the flavor. I mean, some of the flavors are pretty prominent Mm -hmm. or whatever, but for the most part, any of that other shit, something punch or whatever, it's all just sugar water. (laughs) What flavor do you think I like? (laughs) (laughs) Not strawberries, (laughs) but... I mean, grape is... (laughs) Definitely up there. I do like strawberry though. I, I like tropical punch. Great. Strawberry. I can't I can't drink fruit punch anything because I went I went on a senior trip in high school and I got sick off some sort of Italian vodka and fruit punch Gatorade. And now I can't drink anything fruit punch because I got sick on it. I got so sick. We were at we went to a water park and they just <laughs> laid me down in like the wave pool. Oh, you was at the water park when Yeah, time. they laid oh, me down. Man. We had a three-hour trip over there. I drank the whole way. Got sick on the way in there. They laid me down in the wave pool, and then they come and tap me. I was like, hey, man, we got to go. I said, dude, at least let me ride one fucking slide before we leave. <laughs> what was the vodka? What, what, what? It was, a I don't know, it was Italian vodka, and I was like 18 years old. I had no business drinking it. Don't even know where it came from. Yeah. Cause see, we, the, the only reason we bought it, we, we bought it because we had kids, and then we kind of were just like, mm, I don't think... Kool-Aid is just a good alternative. Dude, that's so we the, kinda just quit. That's what's crazy stop. is kids, when you have kids, it makes you stop doing shit that exactly. you always did. Yeah. As a kid, and you start looking yeah. back, you're like, my parents didn't give a fuck about me. Yeah, because I I go outside, I'll drink a whole damn drug Kool-Aid, go outside and play for 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's like my kid drinks one cup of Kool-Aid. I'm like, no, nah, you don't need no more. My no. belly fucking hurts. It, exactly. So it's like I don't even remember my stomach hurting or nothing when I was a kid. I think I could I think I could process sugar like a fucking athlete. And see, that's you know, I, I made this comment to somebody the other day. I feel like when I was when I was younger, it wasn't as hot as it was now. Oh, I think it might have been. Like maybe it wasn't. It it it, it, it could be a hundred degrees outside, but we're still outside playing all day. And it's, yeah, it's so crazy. Well, that's what well, I think. It's just a I think it's just a kid thing because Jackson. Yeah. I'll look over there at him, and his face will be solid red, and he'll just be soaking wet with sweat. And I'm like, "You want to go inside?" He's like, "Why?" <laughs> like because it's hot <laughs> exactly. as fuck. What are you talking about? Well, you know, and I, I think that's kind of. I think it's just kind of just like with technology and stuff too. You have so much more stuff to yeah. do inside. That's true. Why go outside? I don't know though. I, like I played video games, but we weren't allowed to play them. Some mm-hmm. bitches during the daytime, yeah. unless it was raining or something. You yeah, see, play well, them at well, night. Well, my mom, she was mostly. She didn't care if I played it, but if I if she told me to do something and. She got tired. She got to the point she was tired of asking. She'll come in there, unplug this son of a bitch, and, and be like, you don't, don't my, touch it ever. Don't uncle, touch it the rest of the week. My uncle used to get up. <laughs> he still he still lived with my grandma whenever whenever I was a kid, and we'd be sitting there playing Nintendo. And like you know, back then on the old Nintendos, mm-hmm. you couldn't save it if you cut oh, was, yeah, if you cut the motherfucker off, it was gone. Yep. There was no saving a game and coming back to it later exactly. until Super Nintendo. Well, this is regular Nintendo. My uncle used to get up, and it was almost like a routine. He'd come walking in there where we were at, and then he'd walk <laughs> over to the Nintendo and cut it off with his foot and be like, yeah, y'all was done playing that, wouldn't you? <laughs> and I'd yeah. be so we upset him. every day. We would have jumped. <laughs> jumped him off for it. No, he was sitting there with your controller like. Because I, I think one of the, the most frustrating things as a kid was playing the game and it not saving. Like, yeah, and, no, and no, no. you turn it on, and it's literally... That's not it. You remember when you used to like be playing it and all of a sudden somebody would bump it or something and you'd see the screen on just be sitting there like this? <laughs> nah, you talk about fucking mad. You're on World 8. <laughs> Shit. You, you mean you sat there crying for two hours because you couldn't beat this one you level. you sitting over there in your beat. room just... <laughs> God, you hate me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's just when you grow up and you see the stuff you did as a kid, you're kind of just like, wow. Like, 
That's why I had to delete uh, Time Hop. Remember Time Hop? Oh, because it showed all. Yeah, it showed all your. It showed from when I was sixteen when Facebook first came out. Nobody knew what it was. Yeah, you don't even know what you're typing. Yeah, and you had these stupid ass statuses on there. I had to delete it. See, I never, I, I never, I never put it on there because I don't want to see the stupid. You know, I don't want to see it. I, I don't. I know I did a lot of stupid stuff. A lot of stupid. But pictures, I thought I was the know. coolest motherfucker alive. Yeah, I mean, when, even when you look at old pictures, you're just like, what the hell was I wearing? You know what I mean? It's like now everybody's clothes. <laughs> I will point, say at least know. I never went through the gothic stage that white, yeah, see, white I, kids go through. I, I feel like, yeah, that little emo stage, like yeah. everything's I got black swoop bangs. Tonight will be the <laughs> night. <laughs> I never I never went through that. Those kids were actually pretty cool. Like, just the high school. Tell you what I they were through. doing. They were fucking. Oh, I know dude, that. I mean, dude, they. Nobody fucks like band kids through. fuck. Exactly. I mean,. If you look back on it, you're kind of jealous. You're like, well, I mean, maybe they had it figured out. Well, you think about it, they're always together. Yeah, that's it. They're always together. So it's like, that's, I mean, at this point, that's all you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when you put your drums down, <laughs> it's like, that's it. When you're done, when your dad took your skateboard, you just fuck. Cause like, what else is your interest? Nothing. You know, if it, I feel like if you're in the band, what else do you like? Orgies and music. That's, that's the only thing. And that's that all you be. did. So, you know, those those kids are pretty cool. I mean, a lot of them now, they're kind of normal. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, Dude, every, in high school, people are fucking weird. The weirdest people to me in, in, in growing up, which, I mean, it's not weird now that I'm older and I know what it is, but JROTC kids were just, I, I would look at them different, just like, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're fucking stupid. Dude, look, 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 <laughs> look. We had, we had, a, we had a, a, a threat of a... A school shooter one time. Somebody had made a fucking hit list and everything. They made a hit list. So the, uh, they had wrote a date on it and it had everybody's names on it. My name was it. not on it. My name wasn't on it. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, <laughs> My name was not on the hit list. So you were school with him? I didn't know the oh, kid. Okay. I didn't know the kid. But like, so the cops come the day that the thing is supposed to be happening. The day that they're supposed to be like a school shooter or whatever so the guy, they come up there and one of the jr otc kids is walking around he's got camouflage pants on black boots he's got on a leather jacket and he's got like gloves on that are cut off with the fingers so you Rambo? And, and he's just walking through the halls and the cops are like what the fuck are you you can't be walking around like this today today you want to walk around looking like this get the fuck in the car <laughs> like he wasn't even the kid <laughs> He wasn't even the kid that did it. But they just saw him. That's hilarious. That's like one of the only times where profiling's okay. You fucking How'd see. How'd they find out? They got like, a school oh, shooter. this was going on. Well, they found the note. It was like a hit list oh, with a date okay. on it. This is what time I'm coming to fucking school. So they brought the cops in and like still made us go to school, which looking back at it, that's, that's the of, dumbest fucking yeah, thing that, I've ever. Do y'all, nobody thought like maybe don't make yeah. them go today. Or if you were a school shooter and you saw that the that the school was locked down with cops, <laughs> I think you're going to be like, maybe wait till tomorrow. Exactly. We'll try tomorrow. Yeah, you're going to reschedule. This, kid, this kid's walking around. He's <laughs> minding like, his own business. He's got a leather jacket on and ROTC camo pants and combat boots. And they're like, uh-uh, buddy. That's, not, that's, to, not to fucking day. That, the, uh, that, that, I mean, looking back at that, you're saying it's funny as hell. It, uh, dude, I but, thought it was funny then. I was funny. like, they got Roger. I don't remember what his name was. <laughs> like, it's it's funny. It, I mean, obviously, it's a serious situation, but like them getting the wrong person because he dressed a different way that day. Well, I mean, that's Rod, hilarious. Hey, bro. that guy could dress that way any other day. It's just like today, that's when you're going to put on the combat yeah. boots and yeah. a leather jacket. I mean, you can never be too and he had, he had, you know, the, you know how they used to cut the fingers off of their gloves. Oh, yeah. Only He's thing showing the just, fingertips. Yeah, fucking trigger fingers. Well, yeah. <laughs> Canceled today. <laughs> You're ridiculous, man. You're ridiculous. But it's a true story that really happened, and they really You're got ridiculous. that kid. Was like, no, dude, not today. You're wait, not fucking wait, it, walking it, around here today. Okay, like so this. another thing. <laughs> since we're on this subject about school, and they just didn't give a fuck about you. Okay, so why is it now that when bad weather's coming, hey, don't go to school. It's fine. But when we was in school. And it's a fucking F five tornado outside. We're in the fucking hallway of the school. And they told you what, what's put, the they difference? told you to put your head between your legs <laughs> and kiss your ass. Yeah, goodbye. not flying ass first in the air. Like, <laughs> kiss what, what's, your what's ass the goodbye. difference now? Well, my thing was what's what, changed, uh, dude. But what's wild is like yesterday was awful weather. Oh, it was. And they didn't say anything. Yeah, it was horrible. But when it sprinkles, they're like no school. 
Exactly. It's canceled. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was yeah. It was it was bad. My tr- with trampoline, which is the state bird of Florida, got. <laughs> Oh, what'd you just say? A trampoline is a state bird of Florida. <sighs> okay. It got picked up and slung over <sighs> my fence and in my neighbor's garden. They'll never know because me and Courtney went and got it before they got home. Yeah, that's, I mean, and see, that's the thing. Like, my, my little girl, they all, everybody went to school. And the whole time, the, the, you know, people have trampolines flying, dogs flying, everything's going in the air. <laughs> dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, you know, that just goes to show. I mean, it's just. Me, I guess they just pick and choose kind of when they want, you know. Me and Courtney put on our put on our uh, rain boots and put on a rain jacket, went out there to get this trampoline before these people got home, and it was still flooding and lightning. And oh, so it's still raining. Like, it's yeah, still oh, dude, down. we're in the middle of it, oh, like yeah, yeah. Wizard of Oz shit. Oh, that's crazy. And so we're getting this thing, and we're bringing it back, and uh, we hear a door shut, and I hear Courtney say, like, oh, hey. And I was like, fuck, it's the neighbor. <laughs> So I turned around and I was like, uh, oh, hey, man. I was like, you live here? He said, no, I'm just cleaning their pool. I said, okay, well. <laughs> oh, he's cleaning the pool in the weather, too? No, well, I don't know what he's doing. He said he's there to clean the pool, but it's flooding. I think he was robbing him. He's probably, he was white. <laughs> Dude, wh- white people are crazy. Yeah. Well. If it's flooding, I'm, clean- I'm not even driving to the house. I'm not yeah. even going over there. He probably was robbing him, though. He, DP, which is another guy, he was also in the cookout videos. Yeah, if it DP. rains, DP would just sleep at work until it's time to drive. <laughs> <laughs> when it quits raining, he'll drive home. Oh, yeah. He he doesn't he doesn't like He don't rain. play with no. the weather. If it's raining, he it's going to take him four hours to go. My wife don't either. She, dude, as soon as she sees lightning, she'll turn the air conditioner off. I'm like, why are you doing that? She's like, I don't want the power to go on and off and we lose our whole unit. Like, Who told you that? <laughs> So what's the okay? So I even heard like don't take showers when it's when no. dude. As a kid, I always heard if it's lightning, no showers, no baths. Yeah, and I always wondered like I don't know why. I still don't know why to this day. I, I really don't. But I know water is a conductor of electricity. Yeah, but why? But it's like, I don't have <laughs> of all the things. <laughs> you know I, I think mean? it's gonna strike a lake or something before it gets <laughs> right. My water coming yeah, out of my I, shower first. It's gotta come uh, through a window to get that. <laughs> That's if there's a real reason why, right, if there's a real reason why they're gonna, we're gonna feel like idiots. But somebody will comment it. Actually, it's because of yeah, the, I mean, hey, put in the comments why. Because I don't, I don't know. I really don't. But I heard that as a kid, just like turning the light on. Mm-hmm. Like my grandma, if you cut the light on, apparently it was the equivalent to just pepper spraying the fuck out of her. <laughs> if you're driving at night, you cut the light on. All of a sudden, she. Oh my god. I can't yeah. see. Yeah, well, she got hitting you. I always, if if we're driving, my mom used to always she always said something. But if we're driving and just say I'm in the back seat and I I drop something, yeah, and I cut the light on. Oh, we're going to jail. Cut it off. I'm just like, why are the cops gonna get me for that? I'm like, what? And then my grandma would act like it literally blinded her. <laughs> and then when I got older and started driving, I was like, right, because my wife would be like, oh, I dropped something. I cut the light on. I'd be looking for cops. I'm like, I'm gonna get pulled over. Fuck. So I, I don't really know like where all this stuff came from. I really don't like I don't know why you get pulled over for having the light on anyway. I mean, it could be a I mean if you're black and you turn the light on, they're like, Oh, black guy. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Like they might do that. <laughs> Believe it or not, though, I've gotten let go a lot. And I and like I'm I know I'm speeding. Like I pull over, like I'm like, okay, all right, no, I'm gonna get this ticket. Let me check my bank. Okay, I got enough for this ticket. Like I already know I'm gonna get a ticket. So <laughs> I check my bank account. And like the cop not like would, you pay them right then. Yeah, I mean the cop will walk up. He'll just be like, "Uh, that's what you're doing. You're bribing them. Well, I'll give you this money right no. now." No, well, I, 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 you know, it's funny. I argued with one cop, and he was like, "Uh, hey man, you was on this, uh, you was on these white lines over here, man." I was like, "That wasn't me," and it really wasn't. But he was like, "No, it was you." I was like, "No, it wasn't." He said, "Dude, I'm not giving you a ticket anyway." I said, "All right, you're right. It was me." <laughs> Me. What? All right, come on. Like the the side. Yeah, like, I was coming on on the exit, and you know the you know it's two lanes, and it yeah, goes yeah. to that one lane, but all the white lines on the side. He was like, "Yeah, you was all on the line." I was like, "No, no, I wasn't. That wasn't me." And he, I'm just sitting there arguing because I'm at this point I'm pissed off because you even pulled me over. He's like, "Dude, I'm not giving you a ticket. I'm just saying slow down." Oh, okay, yeah, it's me. My bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's really just you know. So he pulled you ever to tell you that you were on the white lines? Exactly. And it's like, you just wasted, you, you could have just flipped your lights, cut them off, and I would have, okay, I'll choose. You started getting aggressive, and he started getting nervous, and he's like, I'm letting this guy go. 
That <laughs> he looks big. He's black. I'm letting him go. <laughs> hey, he's big. Hey, that's kind of the opposite of how it usually goes. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, usually you know I'd be in a headlock <laughs> or something. But... <laughs> You're great, but but honestly, like I and and it's it's weird, but all all the black cops that pulled me over gave me a ticket. None of them let me. All it's all the white cops. Like, hey man, just chill. Just tr- slow down, man. I've heard that from um, almost every one of my black friends. Like, man, the black cop, black cops are the worst. Yeah, they're. They, I don't know they about the worst. Let's be real all here. The time. Like every time a black cop has pulled me out, he's mad as fuck. I'm just like, oh, well, he's mad as fuck because he's getting paid like a cop. <laughs> Probably so. They'll make nothing. <laughs> they see you in your work uniform. They're like, some motherfucker. See, well, see, my work uniform saves me a lot too. You know, I, I don't. Have I don't know why though. I've had I've either. had somebody let me go for a work uniform. What the hell yeah. does that matter? I had my, I had my shirt on. I was still like, oh, going yeah. eighty. <laughs> you worked there. Yeah. So yeah, I worked. He's all right, man. Hold on. He, hey, my he, name's Richard. Uh, <laughs> give me a little. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's the, the, get the me other on cop out came there. back. He was like, "Man, uh, have a good day." He didn't even say no. He just have a good day. He uh-huh. hoped you remembered his name and put in a good word for him. Yeah, he probably wanted a job. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he probably he probably wanted a job. I don't know because I've got let go for uniform, which is now state so troopers. You're not getting let go. The only time I ever got let go from a state trooper is he went to high school with my dad, and okay, that was the yeah, only see, time. Yeah. He he asked me who my dad was, and I was like, his name's Waylon. And he said, you tell him, Ronnie said hello. I would never have it. I don't know my dad. But it was a seatbelt ticket. It wasn't like I was... (laughs) (laughs) That'll never happen. (laughs) That'll never happen to me. (laughs) Just saying. (laughs) Just being real, man. It'll never happen to me. That's pretty good. But when, it's like when they pull me over, they're just like, man, where you going, man? I'm just like, uh, work. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay. You know what's so wild about those videos we made is people act like we did so bad, but like we could have made those so much worse. They really could. We could have went yeah. way too far on yeah. either side. Yeah, I mean, we really could have got canceled if we like. You yeah, know, but and there know. was a few bloopers where we we, can't, we, <laughs> we still can't post them. Probably we could have been canceled. Yeah, we probably still can't post them because that's like some. Yeah. But I felt like it was mild. I don't feel like we did anything that was. I think if you post and the what smoke I said, detector that battery be, you know, thing was like the that what everybody argued over. I say and and now you know, you always told me it was it was black people that yeah. did, and reading the comments, you're you're probably right. I love the it's people. probably ninety five percent. I love people. I love the people that go it's to probably, the comments and they're like. Damn, I didn't even re- I didn't even recognize it until I read the comments. I thought it was mine. <laughs> exactly. See, that's the thing. Like, I'm probably one of the few black people that changes there. And the only reason why I change it, like, now nah, don't get me wrong, I can be fine with it going off. Dude, no you way. Know? But my no wife, my way. wife is like, no, go, go. Change I want to change it then, like the second I hear it. But see, it doesn't like when you. I'm put it like this: when you have kids, you get just you just learn to tune out noise. No. And like screaming, yeah, I and agree all with that. that. So you, I kind of just tune out, and like it, even if I hear them, just like oh, okay. I agree I with that. Kind of tune it out. There's something in my mind when I hear it. Beep, my mind literally says like one, two, three, <laughs> four, and then I'll hear it beep again. Beep, and I'll be like one. Two. See, my mind sits there and says when I, especially if I'm laying down, like if I'm going to sleep or something, and it beeps. I'm like, okay, how long until it beeps again? And I'll sit there and wait for it. And you know what's crazy? It usually beeps at night. I, I don't know. Like, no, I think we much, don't. Much, I wouldn't much, notice it during the day, probably. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Lay it down. Be that too. Lay down. You're sitting there. All you got is your thoughts. And you mm-hmm. just beep. Yeah, the light, lights off. TV's off. You're yeah. in the bed. And I hear my wife's like, And I could hear. It, it'd be all the way by my son's room. You sleep TV off? I have to. Because. I, I do, too. I, yeah, I have to, too. I, I, I don't. It, it's if it weird. was up to Courtney, she would always have the TV on. And well, I see, the thing is, like, I was, before, I, before me and my wife moved in together and all this stuff. I had to sleep with it on. Mm-mm. For summer, I don't know why, I just slept better with it on. And then once we start living together and stuff like that, she was like, cut the TV off. So y'all are opposite of us. Because mm-hmm. Courtney, she hates that I make her cut it off. So now she'll put her iPad up and turn it real, real low, like <laughs> right on her bedside table, <laughs> just so she has it. I yeah, want to sleep in a pitch black room where yeah. like all I can see is your mm-hmm. teeth. Because yeah, I don't... The thing is, is like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what, man? Pitch black. Uh, was, Come on, man. That <laughs> kind of went over my head for a minute. I was like, hold on, what did he just say? Well, so, but uh, my, like, my wife, she just, 
if I have it on, she'll stay up the whole day. She'll stay up the whole night, the whole day. like I, she can't even a nap. She can't take a nap with it on. She'll she stay up to watch it, or she just can't listen to it. She just stay up like she would never get into deep sleep. So it's like she's just laying in the bed with her you, eyes I'll tell you what made really me stop. Sleep, sleep. I'll tell you what made me stop watching it. I mean, stop sleeping with one on. I was probably I don't know fourteen or fifteen. I was sleeping at my mom's house, and I. Uh, Left the TV on to fall asleep. Well, I had this vivid Forrest Gump dream. Like, I was in Vietnam with him. Lieutenant, Dad. Like, I was doing all of it. And I come to, and Forrest Gump's on TV. And I was like, this, I, this is why I've been having this fucking dream. I've been hearing Forrest Gump this whole time. So that kind of, like, scared and I was like, you in the sense? No, it didn't scare okay. me. I was just like, dude, I, there's no way I was getting a good sleep. I was watching Forrest Gump while I was asleep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. My yeah, mind yeah. watched Forrest Gump even though I was sleeping. I think I more so stopped it when I just started working. I was like, dude, I'm staying up to 12, 30, 1 in the morning every night. That's another like, thing. If I, you're sitting there, if I was sitting there and I had the TV on and then I looked at, you remember how you used to click on the guide? Mm-hmm. You'd be like, damn, dude, Forrest Gump's coming on at 10, 30. Exactly. I'm going to stay up and watch that shit. Exactly. And then before you know it, you're fucked. So, it, so this was one of them things. Like I said, she never liked it. And then it's kind of like, I see why she never liked it. So now it's like, when we're, when we're getting ready to go to sleep, I have a remote. I, <laughs> I we don't even turn like, ours on. Like we we have one in our bedroom for no reason. Yeah, I we'll finish watching is, something in the living room, cut it off, and walk in there. Well, see, ours is more so. I guess just a long time because if we're in the living room, the kids they're not letting us watch nothing. So yeah, we usually no, I agree with we'll that. let them watch whatever they want to watch or do what they want to do because they're screaming half the time. We can't hear it, whatever. We put them to bed, then we'll go in there, you know, and we'll just watch a couple shows, whatever, and then just turn it off. So we, See, we never get to do that. Like last night, we put Jackson to bed. We let him watch the new Knuckles show. There's a new show on Paramount. Like Sonic and Knuckles? or Yeah, like, oh, okay. but it's just Knuckles. And it's yeah. Idris Elba. He's Knuckles? Yes. It was pretty I, good. I, I let him watch it a few okay, episodes I'm going to have to watch that. I mean, I like him. He's a great actor. I like Idris yeah, Elba, too. I, like, uh, I kind of look like him, but I, I like him, too, so. <sighs> So, yeah. All black people look alike. So. <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy. Growing up, a lot of people said I look like certain people, I and, I, and like I didn't really I, like I didn't see it then because like I guess you see yourself every day. So you're right. just like I don't look like. Who'd this. you get other than Idris Elba? So like in high school, for some reason in high school, I got Adrian Peterson and Reggie Bush a lot. That was it. I could see Reggie Bush. I got I got that all the time. It's like. I don't see and when Adrian they, Peterson. Though. Well, see, I, I believe during the time I had a, it wasn't a mohawk, but it was like a, a weird type of haircut that he had. Like the black time. Chuck Liddell. Kind of like that. And he was like a, and I went to a football camp and like, you know, nobody knows your name. It was like Atlanta or somewhere. Oh, so they just nicknamed you yeah, Adrian Peterson. They were just like, man, you look just like Adrian Peterson. Like, then they oh, call you that all camp. Yeah. I was like, I don't look like him at all. And they just kept saying it, kept saying it. Like I said, Reggie Bush, I got a lot. I, I got, Morgan, I got uh, Morris Chestnut. I don't know why I got him. No no idea why I got Morris Chestnut. Yeah, I don't That's know. I, don't, I, don't I could know see why. Idris Elba more than any yeah. of those people. Yeah, those more than Reggie the, Bush. Those are the main three that I always got. Yeah. So uh, I don't, And it's kind of just... I mean, looking back on them, like, I didn't look nothing like these guys. I never got anybody. Even when I was skinny. <laughs> I don't look like <laughs> so anybody. So nobody said you like nobody. No, I look it's, like me. Okay, I mean, that's, that's kind of... must be a compliment to I'm them. my own person. <laughs> you try to be all these actors and shit, and it's just I'm me. That's the difference. I mean, I guess they were saying I look good. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of no. They were saying Andrew Elba looks good, <laughs> which uh, which I look like. But you know, I, I mean, it, it, it didn't bother me or nothing like that. So, but even growing up, I just say you know, I would say somebody looks like somebody. They don't look nothing like just to piss them off. Just well, that's all you're good at. It's been, yeah, I just <laughs> like just and it's and I think what made them mad was I can just. Make it seem so serious. That's the thing. People fall for you. Yeah, it's just like and I don't get why they do. You used to oh. come in there and mess with DP every day, and he would get fighting mad every it's day. It's just funny to see the. the it's reactions. hilarious. I love it. You know what I mean? It's just like I love it because it's just like and dude, Malcolm will do schoolyard shit. Like he'll come in. <laughs> look, he'll come in, and there'll be three people in the room, and say the person he wants to annoy is one of them. He'll say hey to two people. And won't say hey to this one. Yeah. And this person will be like, all right, motherfucker, I'll say, hey, what's up? And then he'll be like, even bother you. He'll be like, what up, Justin? What up, Justin? Like, that's a kid. <laughs> that's how a kid does it stuff. It shouldn't even bother you that I do. As a, as a grown man, you, should, you shouldn't be mad. But he'll exactly. be sitting there, like, getting 
furious. And it works with everybody. Like no. everybody I do. You're that, not, I'm not gonna get mad at that. Well, it won't work with you. It won't work because you know because you know you know you know you know how I am. So it, it won't work with you at all. But like everybody we've tried that with, it's it's always. Oh damn! It's like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like, uh, and, I, and I play it off, yeah, man. Like a playground insult, and it just, I, I, you know, I, DP. I don't boy. even feel like, like that will work on Jackson. He won't, because kid, <laughs> his kids are gonna keep talking to you anyway. Yeah, that's true. So I mean, I, I can ignore a kid all day. All they're gonna do is run up and kick me, <laughs> something like that, just to get your attention. So speaking of Jackson, he wanted me to play. Uh, Super Smash. He won. He wanted me to play so Super bad, Smash and I felt bad not playing it because he, like, he was. I would have. I would have liked to have seen it because I'm not good at Super Smash Bros. But I can play it as somebody mm-hmm. who's played video games. Yeah. And he will still, if he gets Meta Knight, he's beating my ass. Yeah, Meta. See, I said like that's one of the best characters on the game. A hundred percent. That's one of the best characters. You don't even realize, game. dude. Some of those characters on there, I don't even know why they put them on there. Or why they gave them some, like some of the people's moves, they go to do it and you're like, okay, but that didn't do anything. It was more like a pose. <laughs> the fuck exactly. have I got this guy for? See, I like the old school Smash Brothers. I like, yeah, like Game I, I just like, Yeah, I just like Captain Falcon, Fox. Fox you know, is still good on that one. DK. I just, I, I want. DK's you know, I want, okay. All I want is eight characters. King DDD is badass on that game. Yeah, see, I like him too. But I, I, I like, like I said, I like the, I like the, the N64 version. Yeah, yeah, which is uh, I, I think yeah. I think that in GameCube's the same version. Mm, well, yeah, GameCube I, yeah. just looks a little better. GameCube is just I don't I, it even was know the why weirdest they controller that. ever. I don't even know why they made that. You know what game I loved on GameCube? Do you remember the bass fishing games they used to put in Walmart? Oh, where the big those r- games were just boring though, dude. Yeah, well, once you did it once, it yeah. was you, you're over <laughs> it. Those games were, but I, I loved, I loved it. Walmart when you could play the game in the store though, like when you can go up and you you know they had PS I guess PS, still do. PlayStation or PlayStation the Slayer Land one does. Yeah, well, yeah, the one, the ones I go to, like in my city, they, they don't have them. Like, if you go to Saryland, y'all don't know where the fuck that's at, but it's, it's down here in Mobile. <laughs> if you go, to, if you go to my Walmart, so Saryland has it. They got the Switch. It, the controller set up. You can play Mario. Uh, what was it the other day? It was, it was. Uh, what's the newest Switch game? Mario Wonder. Oh, so okay. they had Mario Wonder set up. Jackson played it for like ten minutes. Yeah, see, I, I didn't, I didn't. The one, you know, the it's one still where like you can't, it. you can't, you can't take it can't off, and, pull the controller, but yeah. it's sitting there on a stick and you play it. Yeah, because the ones I go to, they don't have nothing. Which he's short, so he's playing it like this, and I'm like, son, aren't you fucking tired? We've got this game at home. I mean, why is it cooler to play it in Walmart? I mean, it it was it was a good idea because when my mom goes grocery shopping or something like that, she'll be in there forever. Dude. So I'm just like, look, hey, mom, <laughs> I'm, I'm so, going to the I'm damn so video game. I'm so glad you said. And that's the thing, like, yeah. can you imagine right now? Telling you could probably could with your son, but like I remember doing it young. I couldn't imagine telling Jackson right now at almost six to be like, "Hey man, just go do whatever the fuck you want. Meet no, me back at the register." No. no fucking way. I don't I, even have anxiety, but like my anxiety would just be like, "What is he do- like? Is I, somebody take him already?" Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Because no. Yeah. I, well, I feel like a, another thing is like back in the day. I feel like a motherfucker would actually care if somebody watched you get abducted. Exactly. Nowadays, I feel like everybody in Walmart just be like. Watching him scream on his way oh, out. Oh, they're just gonna pull the phone out and watch him video. Over and that's it. Yeah, like, but, like you know, back because even like even if you go, you know, say you just go somewhere, your mom's not there. Your mom, you know, my mom gave permission to anybody with my ass. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, so I got my ass with my strangers, put, all I, type. I of put in, I put in my nineties video that that. We got our ass whipped at school. Mom gave us permission to get our ass whipped at school, and everybody's like, "That did not happen in the nineties. Oh, I my said, mom definitely did, dude. I'll be damned. Yeah. They had to sign a permission slip that said, yes, yes you can paddle my son. My, you my can paddle the fuck out the of sli- him. I, I remember vividly. <laughs> I was in sixth grade. And at this time, we lived in um, Tupelo, Mississippi. So, and it's, Tupelo, honey. Yeah. He, he, nobody knows what they said. But my mom and us. <laughs> That's it. So, we went there. And the principal, he's probably like... He's probably six five, just swole guy, and he was wasted out, height. <laughs> yeah, your principal. So he's handing out all these books, and I go home. I'm reading them. I'm reading them, and I see the last page. It was like, hey, give you know, give permission to you know, discipline child with belt. Blah blah blah. I'm like, mm. belt. Yeah. I'm no, like, we, <laughs> we had paddles. Well, well, it said belt and paddle. Mississippi. That's all right. Yeah, it said belt and paddle. So I'm like, my mom, my mom ain't gonna sign that shit, man. I ain't worried about it. Oh shit, I never thought that. Gave it to my mom. <laughs> 
John Hancock. She was just checking every damn thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Beat him. And he came and, and I, I actually did get a uh, a paddle, whatever you want to call it. But uh, he, and it did it sound like, the, I think the most embarrassing part is they come to your classroom, call yes. you out of class, and it's yes. him. And you and everybody's looking at you like, ooh. And you walk out they of the class. They know where you're going. And all you hear is sounding like fucking boulders hitting the damn ground. Just boo. That's all you hear. Well, we had to walk. We had to walk <laughs> to the principal's office when we got that shit. And I, I'm not gonna pretend like I got it 50 times. I only got one pass. Yeah, I only yes, I only got one. But it was I was in like fourth grade or fifth grade, something like that, like right before you get to be like teenage type mm, years. Yeah. And I pulled this little girl's bra strap and popped it. And dude, I rem- <laughs> I'll never forget. We walked back in class. We walked back in class, and I see her go up to the teacher. And then I look over there and I see her like looking back at me and crying. And I was like, oh shit, I yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then you see the teacher like, and you're like, oh shit. And then, dude, my mom, everybody had to come. They had to come get me after I got paddled. So, like, I got. So you got suspended? Or no, you, no, no, no. Oh, it was okay. just one of those like where I went to a Christian school. So mm-hmm. they were like, I mean, what kind of books is he reading or something? You know? <laughs> Are y'all you know, letting him with. watch violent movies? <laughs> yeah, that you know, it's not. I, I I don't even think it has nothing to do with violence, nothing like that. You just a, you're a kid and you just growing up. That was fun, and you tease girls. That's what right. you do, and that's kind of how. Like that's kind of that was like a way of flirting. In yeah, a sense. It, of course it was. It was weird. It's still, it's still a way yeah, kids act. It's weird. I don't know why men do it, but like. At that time, at that age, you just talk Santa girls ugly and all that stuff. Yeah. That was just a way to flirt. If you don't know why I did it. If but. you like this little girl, you mm-hmm. treat her like shit. Now, exactly. some guys carry that all the way through them the rest of their life. Exactly. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know some, why. Some guys stick to that. Because, see, I, I don't. And some girls still fall for it. See, I feel like I never really treat a lot of girls like, you know, crap yeah, but or back whatever, then but, I did. Mm-hmm. I talked... You know, you just teased them, poked yeah, them, they'd fucking be walking out, trip them, push up. them down, yeah. Of stuff. And, you know, fucking that's just kind of that's just kind of what you did. Like I said, that's just kind of what you did when you was younger. But growing up now, I was I was I was an asshole. But it is what it is now. <laughs> no, I mean when you can't go back and change it. Yeah, they just got to build character. Man. You know, yeah. Not your character builds all those people's character. Yeah. I feel like now now though, you taught kid, a lot of lessons is what you did. Like kids now, I feel like you kind of just got to teach them different now. You can't teach of course them the same you do. way, you know, like when I grew you can't e- teach them Everything way. that you look, not everything, but a lot of shit you look back on when you were growing up, you're like, damn, that was kind of fucked up that, uh, <laughs> we, that we did that. You can't whoop kids no more. So you, you, you got to find like different ways of discipline. Well, uh, d- damn sure you know. everybody can't whoop them. Like, yeah. And mm-hmm. you know what's crazy is like, I can't imagine like the way they used to give everybody permission to beat us. I can't imagine I telling. I can't let nobody do it now. No, I think uh, I can't I imagine know. being like, yeah, Miss April, which is his teacher's name. Just you know, if he acts up, go and give it to yeah, him. Yeah, I don't think I could. I think uh, like because I don't know how Miss April is. Miss April might be a bitch. Exactly. Not see, it, not it, you, Miss April. It I'm not might talking not about be you. like. I'm just let's ex for the ca- teacher, you know, for the whoever child. she is. Mm-hmm. Like she might be having a bad day. Exactly, and just well, want to whip the damn fuck kid. my kid up. So it's like no. a bad day. Yeah. I, I think I, I would feel like some type of and plus nowadays I don't know if it's, it's it is because it's social media and you get to hear oh, about yeah. everything mm-hmm. everything that happens if somebody's kid gets beat in Illinois you get to hear about it oh, down exactly. here so like you hear about all these people like oh kid went to daycare and like uh, the the person running the daycare was just beating everybody mm-hmm. and you're like we caught it on camera all the kids are getting beat yeah so I, I can't do you're it. like what were they doing nothing they were just playing and she just walked by yeah, and then slapped the, then them every hour. Then you see the camera footage come out. Oh, I can't watch it. I don't. I can't watch any camera footage for that. Like, remember the people used to do those nanny cameras? I put can't it in do like that. a teddy bear. I, no, I can't, dude. I can't. And then like their kid would be crying, and all of a sudden this nanny just go fucking Floyd Mayweather on this child. I can't have a camera in my kid's room, like no, I just for myself, because like just just watching like um, paranormal activity videos like that and stuff, and just. I did you not think this is where this is fucking nah, going. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not, no. Nah. And then you just got hackers. So wait a minute. You, you don't want a kid, you don't want a camera in your kid's room because you think that motherfucker might get lifted up and spun and shit? Yeah, you just never know. <laughs> you, you honest, like, nah. So you don't want to be there to stop that? What the hell I'm going to stop? Yeah, just let them put them back down. I mean, because I'm going to go in there. I can't see the damn thing. We were talking about this the other day. <laughs> so now we were, we were talking up. about this the other day. How unrealistic, which I know they make unrealistic movies now, but like if child's play oh, yeah, if yeah. child's play would have happened now, 
Chucky's getting a fifty three yard well, field it, goal. It'll be, two, it'll be a two minute, you know, two minute movie. Yeah, like Hulk, you know, smashing Loki. Yeah, just, I'm not. You no. And but even now, if if Jackson called me in there right now and was just picked up a random doll and was like, he keeps talking to me at night. <laughs> okay, whether I believe you or not, we're lighting this motherfucker on fire. Exactly, he's dead. Even but it like growing up seeing that it's still a good movie. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't know it's about like, a good movie. Yeah, I mean, I well, tell you what, it's timeless. They're still making them. Oh, exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. Jennifer Tilly still got a show. Yeah, exactly. So, Chucky on I wouldn't uh, say USA. Great. I mean, it's kind of like watching Halloween. You're like, man, it's a good movie, but now you watch it like Michael Ooh. Myers is fucking power walking. Yeah, you're like he's walking through a uh, hospital These are doors. Teenagers. You know what I mean? They're supposed to be fast. Exactly. Michael Myers, you look back, he's gone, and now he's in your face. Like, dude, you was literally two miles away. No black people. It's a couple of them. I have seen a couple of movies, but see they 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 portray the black in the wrong. old Halloween movies. Oh well, no, you know once I'm they saying, got if newer, Michael Myers is walking and a black guy's running, no, he's not catching. He's not catching them. He's not catching. Well, that's the thing. White people, this is this is the problem. <laughs> they run and look back the whole time. They ain't looking back at shit. I know. I, I know hate, when I'm running away from. I hate when they run upstairs. Well, see, that's the fuck too. out of here. Yeah, you, the door's wide open. You. you yeah, I don't, I don't know why they do that, but I, I think they, I think the directors kind of have to do it, so they have to get to a point where you have to die. The most unrealistic thing that they ever did in movies was make the black people die first. Yeah, black. Yeah, I see. That's the thing. Black people, we don't like every black person that I've ever seen near danger. As soon as shit pops off, yeah, they, the fuck away. No, dude, they're a hundred percent gone. I'm not staying. They're not. Let's split up and let's no. check every edge of the house. Oh, we can split up. Guess what? I'm at the house. Gone. We're going to split up, all right? <laughs> split states. We're gonna split I'll be up. in Mississippi. You're going to hit a fucking car cranking up. I'm going home. Yeah. I'm not I'm not checking out anything. I mean, you... you and I, Don't get me wrong. You will have some black people who just... They have to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't they, know. They have to see... They have to go... You know, they want to record it for us. Me and Courtney are here like a boom, boom, boom. She'd be like, what was that? I don't know. Somebody needs to go look at that. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's all the time. I, we're both is. in the bed. She's like, "What that was?" I'm an, I'm just making shit up. No, it's probably tree limb. Yeah. <laughs> and you're sitting there in your head like somebody's in my house. I don't know what the fuck. Exactly. Because at this point, it's like you're in the back of the house. The whole front of the house is dark as shit. You don't you don't see nothing. No light. Nothing. So now I'm like, I got a guess if anybody's in. The here other night, I heard just this light, dude. It sounded like a bomb went off, and all of a sudden. The dog starts going nuts inside, and I'm like, "Holy shit!" Somebody's but see, that's trying to the break good thing about down. dogs, though. Dogs gonna tell you something oh, yeah. before it even gets to that. Point. Our our big dog will bark immediately. Yeah, and so it's loud as fuck. So mm-hmm. I do get up, and I go to get up, and Courtney's already out of the bed. I don't know where she's at. I was like, <laughs> "They shot her. She's dead." <laughs> that's what I heard was a gunshot. <laughs> so I go, I go in there. No, nope. it's the trampoline is on the roof. This is a different trampoline incident than the other night. This is the storm that came days before it. It took the trampoline and flipped it up, and it hung, it was hung on our satellite dish. So it's literally on the roof. Yeah, state bird of Florida. <laughs> Dude, that's, that. Yeah, I wouldn't have no fucking trampoline no more. Well, I mean, we took it apart. Yeah, I, but I'm going to get another one, because it's Jackson's favorite thing to do, and I'm going to tie it down. Yeah, see, when, when's the last time you've... You, so if he loves, I'm pretty sure you jump all the time. I do. Yes. Yeah. I can't. Do you? You do flips. You just you still one, do all the flips. And one flip. Yeah. Well, so I do I'm, a lot of uh, laying on your back, back to your feet, and they're like, "Oh my god, oh, how'd okay. you do it?" Yeah. See, I don't. Because no. uh, kids know how to flip. Jackson knows how to flip. He can do mm-hmm. a front handspring. He can do a front flip. He's tried a back handspring, and I was like, "Quit that! You're gonna break your fucking neck." <laughs> like he just <laughs> exactly. shit whips backwards. Well, see, There's the, no the last skill time to it. I was on a trampoline, and this is why I usually like I get on them now, but I don't do all these flips and all that stuff. Like I like back then, you know, when you're younger, you're athletic, so you can do all type of shit. Yeah. And man, I I probably jumped twenty foot in the damn air. I'm hitting back flips, and I jumped too far back, landed on the metal railings. Oh, and, and on the know, trampoline. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You know, sometimes they have the pieces that stick out. Literally took all the skin off my shin. I said, "Yep, I'm not flipping no more." So Dude. from that point on, I just never flipped no more. What happened to me was I was at my mom's pool, and I used to do backflips all the time, yeah. doing off the diving board. Yeah. Uh, I know you don't without a light, like a life jacket, but <laughs> no, I, <laughs> but I can swim. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you can. <laughs> Anyways, I was doing a backflip in my mom's pool, and for whatever reason. When I went to, you know how you do your little pre-jump before mm-hmm, you jump? Yeah. I would do my pre-jump and my whole body would turn like this. 
And I almost, like, my side went down, like, the side of the pool when I landed. Mm. And I was like, why the fuck am I doing that? So I got up there and tried it again and landed over there again. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'm done. Apparently, I'm retarded. <laughs> can't. I can't jump straight backwards anymore. So I, I mean, I probably I'm, can I'm now. I'm trying to see. Was, how, how, how would you land to the side, though? Because I would turn. You're I would still to do, like do a, a 360 stri- flip or no, something? No, no, no. I would do a straight back flip. But before, you know, you do your pre-jump before you jump. When I do my pre-jump, my body would turn like this. So now I'm doing a straight back flip this way. Yeah, no. Don't know how. No, I'm not. <laughs> it You're doesn't better matter. Than me. It doesn't but see, matter. I mean, I, like, black people can't swim. But, uh, like. Okay, well, two <laughs> out of the three that was in that video we made could okay, not. Okay, they can't. Yeah, they can't. I mean, I can swim. I, there I, you I, go. I'm just, You're a part of the 33%. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Shit. Come but that's on. like uh like when I like even now growing up, I swim every damn day of the summer. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> There's sharks in the pool. See now for like Damn, I don't even know what I sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the best part. You sound like Little Nicky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what it sounds like? You remember on old school when he shoots that dart in his neck? He's like, You're crazy, man. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. <laughs> oh, God. You literally sound like Little Nicky. <laughs> you sound just like. Dude, shout out to Adam Sandler. He made that. all my childhood movies. All of them. Yeah, Scuba Steve. Do that. All all his movies are good. Yeah, uh, I mean, all, all of them. Are good. All his old ones for sure. Shallow Hal, do that. Water Boy, Happy Gilmore. His best movie. Billy to Madison. Me, Water Boy. That's his best movie. Yeah, I, I could watch Water Boy twenty four hours straight. Not even. I play. love Water Boy, but my favorite. I, I say Happy Gilmore too. Happy but, Gilmore yeah. is my I'll favorite Adam Gilmore Sandler too. movie. Is I it, even like Mr. Deeds. I used to watch Mr. Deeds almost every day. Mr. D's is good too. I mean, like, like I said, it's it's it's, it's really hard to kind of even dude. Eight like, Crazy Nights is a great movie. It's a cartoon. That's wild. Yeah, that's a wild. It's movie. a great movie. But I, I I feel like I feel like I can watch Happy Gilmore and Waterboy. Just I, I can watch them. One hundred percent. That's to true. Back I feel like I'm just, missing something. But all of I mean, those he has movies. A, he has a lot of good movies. Yeah, I, it's it's not. I, and honestly, I can't say I've seen a movie where he's just it was horrible. No, I mean. Not horrible. Yeah, it's, I even like Grown Ups. Grown Ups is great. It's a good movie. It's like a real just. It's a get when you're older, yeah, you appreciate yeah. it. I don't think as a kid, I don't yeah, want to watch it. When you're a kid, it. you won't really. I wouldn't know, watch it, but when yeah. I was a kid, there's still, like Happy Gilmore and all that shit is still good now that I'm an adult because mm-hmm. it, it it just makes sense. Yeah, it's, all of it makes. It's sense. a great movie. Waterboy, like I said, that just made sense. Happy Gilmore made sense. Mister Deeds. It was far fetched, but yeah. it's funny. Yeah. I feel like some of these guys just they kind of <laughs> it's like they make movies for the future. It's, it's kind of weird how that goes, but like I feel like they know like what are you can. saying? Like they're trying to make a movie that's timeless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. it's just like it's it's some movies you'd be like, man, I can't watch that no more. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's some movies that I only watch once, like and they're good movies. So like I went and watched A Star Is Born uh, with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga oh, and. No, I had so the movie's <laughs> super good, like super good. Won Oscars, all kinds of shit. Yeah, but as yeah, soon as yeah. it was over, I was like, I'm never watching that again. Like it yeah. took. It's a, Happy Gilmore. I can watch it, and it doesn't. It doesn't do anything to me. When I got done with the Star Is Born, it, it like took something with it. It took something out of me with it. Like it was a well, hard movie to get through. <laughs> like it was a hard movie to get through. Like yeah. it was a sad. Yeah, see, I don't like sad movies. I don't. Well, yeah, it's just one of those things where you're only gonna watch it once. But like, there's I, sad movies I can watch. I, I remember different. we talked the other day. What you said? Uh, I think Precious or something like that. Rough. Yeah, I'm, I can't. That's once a you tell me what it's about, movie. I can't watch that. I, it's a. I, I that's another movie that I'll never watch again. Not right. that it's a bad movie. Yeah, I can't. But it's rough. I can't watch. That. But there's some movies that are rough that I can watch again that are sad. Like Remember the Titans is a sad movie oh, that I can I watch mean, it a million yeah. times. I think because it just has football and it's just like Denzel. You know, Denzel is a great actor. He's probably my favorite. But yeah, it. My favorite is probably Tom Hanks. I like Tom too. Tom is just. I mean, I think every 
at this point now, I also love Brad Pitt. If you haven't watched Forrest Gump, it's like I feel like you just Well yeah, it's just one of those yeah. anybody that says you they have to watch if they, if they say point. they don't like Forrest Gump, I think yeah. you're lying. Mm-hmm. Either you're you've got to be lying. When I was younger, we I, I could probably say that's probably one of my most watched movies. I know every when word to it. Every word. Yeah, like it's I know we're from Alabama, but I'm not I am <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Apparently. See that's the thing. It, that's another but, thing about the people. Dude, no, not the people. That's you. That's not no, the... Don't blame that me. on the people. It's not me. Dude, did you see that comment on the last video? So why are they dressed for three different climates? <laughs> Gabe's in shorts. <laughs> Gabe's in shorts and a t-shirt. You're in a hoodie and sweatpants, and I'm in camouflage overalls and well, a button-up. That's, that's the thing, though. So Alabama weather is so unpredictable. Like, Yeah, I agree with that. don't know... Like just, but there's just no the way you weren't hot that day. Hmm. You just wanted to be controversial because well, my... you wore West Virginia shit. Now you got on a Patriots. Well, see, that's the thing. Brooklyn Dodgers today. Well, see, and Jackie is, Robinson. Just, yeah, yeah, it's Jackie Robinson. So. Yeah. But like, that's like my wife. She always thinks I'm hot because I'm wearing what I'm wearing. I'm like, no, I'm wearing it because it's just comfortable. I'm not hot. I mean, we work in the heat all day. Well, you know, if we're outside, not yeah. whatever. But we always work in the heat. I used to work offshore. I was always in every element known to man so it's like if i just want to wear a hood i just wear a hood Mm-mm, i'm not wearing a hood it could be it could be you know but the thing is like my wife can be it can be 73 degrees in the house oh my god it's, it feels like it's 85 degrees i'm like okay i could cut it down a tick oh my god it's freezing and i'm just like oh. dude that's the good thing about me and courtney is like we can leave that motherfucker on 67 all day and everybody's good with it see 67 see i wouldn't mind that if i'm sleep. I want it all the time. Yeah, like when I go to if sleep, I'm I put it on inside. I know our power bill is high, but when I'm inside, I want to be cool. Yeah, yeah. If I'm outside, yeah. I'm okay with it being hot. I've agreed to go out there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? what what's, I feel like what? what what's your? We, idea? We, we've got to wrap this up. We're yeah, yeah, fucking. We'll, we'll be here all day. I was about to say we're all, we're, we're already yeah. almost an hour in. <laughs> that did, but an you, hour? Yeah. Yeah, it's fifty-two minutes. I mean, we're almost Man, there. That's, that's a long time. I okay. We were talking about recurring people that have to be on here all the time. Malcolm's got to be on here yeah, all the time. You got to because that's yeah. You got four days off. Oh yeah. By the time yeah. this comes out, I won't be working with you anymore. <laughs> how so? How long? How two, long would that be? Two weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, I don't yeah. know when this comes out. Oh, okay, this will okay. come out four or five weeks because I've already got four of them. This is this is number four. Okay, so okay. This will be episode four. Yeah. And it'll come out four weeks from now. Okay, then. Hey, I'm ready for it. All right. I'm ready for it. All right. Thanks for coming, dude. Uh, y'all will see him again. Thanks for having me, man. Tune in. Check him out on uh, socials Malcolm Sermon's Brother Mal. <laughs> Don't type in Brother Mal. You won't find <laughs> shit. <laughs> Whoa. All right, my. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>